What's up, fam? Dr. O here. And while many people were cheering the fact that the government has ignored another shutdown, part of me is frustrated on many levels because, as it has been said, we've kicked the can down the road for 45 more days or 40 plus more days. But there's another problem that is really bothering me is that many of us should be out, should have been out there protesting our so-called leadership before we even got close to this shutdown. And it seems that a lot of us don't even really seem to care about things relating to government anymore. In fact, the top Google searches a day or two before the shutdown was about National Coffee Day, The Golden Bachelor, Who Shot Tupac. Like these were the things that people were looking up more than the effects of the shutdown. And I just kind of find myself wondering is, you know, have, have we lost our way as it relates to our ability and our spirit to protest? I'm thinking about the military and what Tommy Tuberville has been doing to hold up the military promotions. Why aren't people out in the streets? Why aren't people in front of his office? Why aren't people, you know, doing that type of work, that type of protest? And I'm seeing what's going on in places like France and Israel and what they try to do in Israel with the judge system, what they try to do in France with their retirement. And people were out in the streets. They were shutting cities down. They were shutting blocks down in neighborhoods and streets and the like. And of course, we're not calling for any violence in any way, shape or form. But these citizens were able to bring their, their, their country to a standstill until they got the demands that they want. And it seems like a lot of us are primarily focused on, you know, maybe some online petitions, maybe a couple of retweets or re-Xs. I don't know what do you call them, x-rays now, tweets, I don't know. But, and just kind of saying that we did our part and maybe we liked the YouTube video or something. If this government is really gonna fall, it's not gonna be at the hands of somebody like a Trump or, or somebody like that, even though many of these people are actively working to destroy the government, don't get me wrong. It's going to fall because of apathy. It's gonna fall because of lack of civic engagement. It's gonna fall because of lack of a care that many people have, and not just young people, that the government doesn't really affect them in any way, shape or form, of course, until it actually does. So this is something that I'm definitely concerned about. You know, I talk about the importance of being an upstander and, and not a bystander. But our, our spirit of, of, of real protest, you know, some of us are, you know, caught up more in, you know, what we call, you know, slacktivism as opposed to actual uh, activism. You know, we're just kind of casually I involved in these types of things and, and not really giving up our uh, uh, the, uh, whatever thing we believe in for us to be able to have our freedom. You know, Dr. Joe Madison talks about the difference between a moment and a movement being sacrificed. And many of us may get moved, but we don't start movements. And I think that this is something that should be very problematic, especially going into 2024 election. Look, we're in a society right now where our daughters have more rights than their mothers and grandmothers. And uh, we can talk about the, the evil legislation that's coming and, and or that has come and what people have put out in terms of our so-called leadership but a lot of it came from us not voting in the first place we should have never got trump into office you know but we didn't want to get out there and really vote in the numbers needed and this is the case for many races across the country now of course, there have been some positive outcomes that have come out you know the senators in georgia and other places like that but a lot of it comes from well, we feel like we people finally reached the brink. You know, a lot of us get out there and protest when we're registered to vote. So if we don't understand that civic engagement matters, that civic engagement is what's key to really being able to take ourselves and our communities to the next level, then we're going to lose regardless of who wins in 2024. You know, we have election deniers who are out there, election deniers who are in office right now. And though uh, uh, in large part they lost the last elections, they're not stopping. They're coming back for more. So when are we in America going to really take to the streets and let Tuberville know to stop harming military families and military readiness? When are we going to take to the streets and, you know, show up at Kevin McCarthy's, you know, office doors and in D.C. as well as in, you know, California and, and let people know that we're not going anywhere until things change? Our, our inability to really get out there and fight in many instances until it's too late is as big a problem as anything else going on in this country. It's as big a problem as anybody trying to take over the country, as anyone trying to deny voting rights, as anyone trying to deny the rights to women. The reason why I say this is the bigger problem because this leads to all of those other things being able to happen. And so as we go into this next election, I want you to take a look in the mirror, you know, really look at yourself and ask yourself, am I doing enough? I know that's what I've been doing. Do I need to do more? Do I need to get out in the streets? Do I need to galvanize people? Because as, as you know, love Joe Biden or hate Joe Biden, 
when he talks about the soul of the country is on the line, this is true. And if we lose, it's because a lot of us just cared more about, again, who shot Tupac, Golden Bachelor, National Coffee Day, than we did about the destruction of our country. You know, Joe Biden gave a speech at the at the at the John McCain Institute or a library a few weeks ago. A uh, major speech, or a week ago, major speech on democracy and MAGA Republicans and how to destroy the country. And it was on like page 16 of the New York Times or something, without even a lead on the main page. If this is where we're going as a society, if this is where we're going to be as a country, if we're going to continue to be bystanders to our destruction, then really at the end of the day, we have no one to blame but ourselves. Are you going to be part of the solution or are you going to be part of the problem? It's up to you. Let's go. Peace.